This plot of land will soon be home to this season's project house, a 4,000 square foot, brick and stone, old world style home. To support our house, we are constructing a raised floor foundation utilizing open web trusses. This raised floor foundation, designed and manufactured by American Truss Systems Incorporated, was engineered specifically for our project house. The crew begins by drilling 53 piers 22 feet deep into the earth. Because this lot has a water line that the piers must extend beyond, a sleeve is used to aid in drilling. Once the concrete is poured, steel rebar is driven into the pier for additional support. Next, the crew constructs the perimeter stem wall. A trench that will hold the wall is dug, and form walls are built on both sides. These form walls are temporary structures designed to support the wet concrete while it sets. Then a base is laid, and an intricate grid of steel rebar is set inside the form walls. This steel rebar connects to several of the piers and will provide additional structural support for the stem wall. Once the rebar and form walls are in place, the concrete is poured and allowed to dry for one day. Then the form walls are removed. On top of the stem wall, the crew constructs a two foot high knee wall using treated southern pine lumber. Now there are a lot of advantages to doing that. One of the primary ones is because of cost. Kathy Cake is an engineer with the Southern Pine Council with more than 25 years experience in the wood products industry. Because of the price of concrete, if we can cut down on the amount of concrete we're using, we can save costs. Also when we're using wood, it's a lot more flexible. So there's a lot of angles in this house and so we're able to do that much more easily, much more economically. Next, the crew installs glue lamb beams from Anthony Forrest Products. These extremely dense beams, which provide support to load-bearing walls and high-stress areas, are made from premium grade lumber that has been glued and laminated together. The trusses, called open web trusses, were created with treated southern pine and are held together by connector plates from MyTech Industries. Southern pine is the strongest structural species for building engineered and framing projects. That means that it's very strong and also very dense. So what it's a benefit for trusses because you can span further with your trusses. You might also be able to have a less deep truss than you might need with other species. One of the big benefits with a raised floor foundation is that you're able to put your plumbing in after the foundation's built. Unlike a concrete slab where you have to put it in the ground first, you come back after the trusses are in place and run all your plumbing exactly where it goes. It's very easy to get underneath the crawl space and install it throughout the whole house. Now another benefit on having a system like this is if you ever develop a leak in the plumbing, a plumber can crawl right in your crawl space, fix the leak, and crawl right back out. Very simple, easy to repair, which means it's going to be inexpensive. If you have a concrete slab foundation and you have a leak, they're going to have to break up that concrete to make that repair. One more big benefit with this plumbing system is if you ever decide to remodel the home, move a kitchen or a bathroom, or just do a few little changes, it's very easy to get into the crawl space and move your plumbing, which means you're going to save money on that remodeling job. Also, because the home is further off the ground, Many of the moisture problems commonly associated with slab-on-grade foundations can be minimized. The more you can do to get your home up away from the ground, away from the pests, the better off you'll be. There are also construction techniques that we can use to help minimize pests getting from the ground up to the home. For example, putting a ground cover like we have on this home on top of the ground to help prevent the pests again getting from the ground up to the home. In addition, both the knee wall and trusses are treated with an environmentally friendly copper-based preservative from Chemical Specialties Incorporated. This treatment, which gives the wood its greenish color, is designed to protect against termites and decay. A raised floor foundation can be a benefit for people who live in flood-prone areas as well. Because we're getting the floor raised up above, we have an opportunity, if there is a flood, for there to be water, but it not to get into the living space of the home. Once all the trusses are securely in place, the crew attaches netting and a layer of insulation is added to keep the floor comfortable. After the insulation is in, it's time to lay down the subfloor. Because the trusses we are using have a wide nailing surface, attaching the subfloor is easy. First, the crew puts a line of glue on the trusses, 
The subfloor is set, nailed, and then screwed securely in place. These three steps help ensure the floor will be squeak free for years to come. Next it's time to start raising the frame of our project house, but that's a story for another day. If you'd like more information about raised floor foundations and the benefits they can provide to your home, visit the Southern Pine Council's Raised Floor Foundation website at raisedfloorliving.com.